Hello everyone, welcome to Past Preserver. Today we're looking at another Saker product. They sent me this cordless hedge trimmer and grass shear to review, so that's what we'll do. Inside the box, you'll find the unit itself with the grass shear already on it. Be careful, it will lock your fingers off. It's pretty powerful. It also comes with the hedge trimmer. Nice little cover on both of them. If you want to swap out from the grass shear to the hedge trimmer, it's as simple as pull two tabs. Push it together, and ta-da. Now do all this with the battery out of it. Moving on to the battery, they did a nice big upgrade over the old ones. Now you have a power indicator light, but it will still work with all of Saker's other 20 volt line. And vice versa. You have a little safety latch here. Push up to turn this on. Pull the trigger. The big green button on the side you can press and it gives you four different positions to give you the most ergonomic handling on your trimming. Here's a little look at how the inside of this works. This just turns in one direction and all the, me the mechanical movement is done inside the head here. Which is a good idea because if you jam this up It'll probably break something down in this bit before it messes up the head and you can just replace this unit. Back to the battery for one minute. It has a charge time of two hours. It comes with a little charger. It'll turn, go from red to green when it's done. And it's a two hour charge time. You simply just plug this in right here and you're good to go. Now for the future of Saker, considering they're coming out with more 20 volt and more 12 volt products, I'd like to see a actual big charger, like a fast charger you could click these on to. That would be great for the future of them. It makes it a lot easier than trying to find one of these all the time. So now that we've gone over the basics of this, let's take it outside and put it to some use. I think it's a pretty good product overall. It feels pretty decent. This is a little floppy, but I don't think it's going to mess you up too bad. Let's find out. Let's see how the grass trimmer works. She does a really good job. Let's try this. I don't have much when it comes to hedge. But, I do have this vine that's been growing up this bell. See, it does a pretty good job.
That's a lot better. Let's take uh, take all this down off my bell. I think that ought to do it. Aha! That's a lot better. Quick battery check. We're still full charge after doing all that. Try something a little thicker. You got a tree trying to grow up here. Cut her on down. Oh. First time jamming it. Oh, now that hit metal. That's not fair to it. Not bad, not bad. Now this little thing in here is a gooseberry bush, as you can see right there. I don't want to cut those out. But I do have this invasive vine that just loves to take over it. And it'd be nice to just get the gooseberries exposed. Without hurting the gooseberry much. Oop. See, this vine's all entangled. Vine or... I'm not exactly sure. I guess it's not really a vine. It's just a tree that's taken off. But these are the things I want to watch out for. All this, look at all of them. Yeah. Perfect for clearing this up. Gotta be careful, these got stickers on them. They're not very big, but they'll uh, they'll stick you. No, well, maybe they don't. I always thought these did. Hmm. Hmm. I say I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. Oop, I think I got some gooseberry there. Don't want to do that. First time in a while that bush has been that exposed. Let's try a little thicker grass.
Now, as you can see, we got locked up a couple times. How do you clear a jam? Take the battery off, then take this off, whatever you, attachment you're using, and then you can turn this backwards and you can get your jam unjammed. Because normally it'll have something pinched in between here and it's trying to turn one way. So if you turn it backwards a little bit, you can generally get that out. But only do this off the machine. Don't have it attached to the machine. Because while it won't cut off a giant branch, it can still mess up your fingers. You're going to have a bad time. Don't believe me? Here's a piece of rubber fuel line. Let's see what it do to your fingers. Uh-huh. She's lopping it right off there. That's some pretty thick line. Your finger, not so good. So closing thoughts on this, I actually really like it. I see myself using this in the future. I like that they added the little battery indicator on it. The attachments are fairly easy to swap out. They could do with a little bit of a ridge here on the end for pulling these out because they can be a little, a little slippery to grab onto. But other than that, yeah, it's not real bad. It does what you expect it to. And we did all that and didn't even use a bar of battery. So I'll leave a link below if you're interested in this. I think it's right around $100. And of course you get this and that and one battery. So I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe, hit like, and you have yourselves a great day. I'll see you in the next one.